Hey everybody, it's Stryker. I've got a quick update video for you guys uh, to keep you informed as to what's going on. Um, so I'm having to put a hold on some of my recordings for a while, and I'm about to explain what you're looking at and why you're looking at it. Um, so I broke my finger recently, and it's not like a normal break. You know, um, and I have two x-rays up here, and I'm going to explain what they are. Uh, hopefully my little... Uh, mouse that I'm going to add in and post on here will kind of dictate what I'm talking about here, but um, So a normal break would be like what I'm drawing across here like a cut flat across your finger breaks And that's pretty much that put it in a cast game over um, that, That's pretty much all you got to do now um, That's not what I did. So I hit the ground at an angle um, my middle finger the one that's um, on the left x-ray over here um, that finger that's kind of centered I hit it on the ground and it dislocated from this knuckle. So this part and this part, they were kind of dislocated and hanging there. Whenever I hit the ground, little did I know, I actually broke part of my bone right here where this is. Um, so it's like that, see that part that's not really straight? Now if you look over here on the pointer finger, it's very curved. And that's how it's supposed to look. If you look back over at this one, it's uh, not. <laughs> it's not good. So what happened was is that broke and it flipped over to the opposite side and then I plugged my finger in back where it's supposed to go after I dislocated it. When you dislocate something pretty much you're just supposed to pop it back in. That should be the end of it. If you look over here on this x-ray on the right, there's a little rounded area below that knuckle and that's not supposed to be there. Now if you look on the other ones, that's more like cartilage, the um, the lighter parts, um, that's bone. See, it's a lot, a lot uh, more bold um, colored than the other knuckles. So that bone over here on this side broke from there, flipped over, landed over there. I plugged my finger back into its spot, and now that bone is trapped on the wrong side of my finger. So. <laughs> The doctor came in and was kind of impressed. He was kind of like, I don't know how you did this. Uh, and <laughs> so I had to explain. Um, it's very interesting, um, but it's not good either. So I'm gonna have to have surgery soon. Um, not really sure when. I'm having an appointment with my with the surgeon on Monday. And uh, hopefully by the end of the week, I will have the surgery already done. Um, and the doctor wanted to make sure I got this done quickly. Uh, the nurse came in and was like, I think we can see him by uh, April 12th or 14th. And he's like, <laughs> no, uh, that's going to be way too long. We need to see him this this coming week. So um, it's going to be interesting. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'll keep you updated. Um, I've never broken a bone before, believe it or not. And uh, this one isn't super painful but it's complicated and I can't bend my finger um, virtually at all. I can bend it a little bit, but not much. So that's what I'm dealing with. Um, I'm having to put a hold on some of my shows for a while. Um, when it comes to Strikeout, Season 9 is uh, in high production, or was. Um, it's almost done being built, and then I've just got to set up a recording day. Um, and then I've been working on Fan Edition. It's coming, guys. I... Uh, Probably would have tried to record it this weekend or next weekend, but we're going to have to wait a little bit longer on that. Um, but it's still coming. I'm still working out logistics and trying to figure out how I want to do it. And I've got a lot of ideas. I'm always open to other ideas, but I've got a plan. Um, so I just wanted to keep you guys posted, um, let you know what's going on. Uh, and that's going to be that. So you won't see anything from me for a little while. Um, I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye!